Hey everyone, and welcome to Spoonful of Pillow! Okay, I am so excited because today we have our very first musical guest, Jamie D. Her hit single, Tiptoes, is climbing up the charts and her music video was just released. Now, I promise you that once you hear her voice, you are going to fall in love with her, okay? So are you ready? Because Jamie D's on a Spoonful of Pillow! All right, let's go. Jamie D, welcome out of Google of Hello! <laughs> what an honor to have you on our show. Oh, it's an honor to be here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so 2012. Yeah. Wouldn't you say that's been an amazing year for you? Yeah. I mean, just for those who don't know, let me just do a little recap of some of the things. You've had a song on uh, the Hunger Games soundtrack alongside with Taylor Swift, Miranda Lambert, and Maroon 5. Your mm -hmm. debut single, Tiptoes, was released this summer, and just last week the music video premiered, and you've opened up for Owl City and Lighthouse! Like, <laughs> what goes through your mind when I'm saying all that? Um, I just feel so honored to be able to do what I mm. love for a living. Like, I was just a girl singing in my room with I the guitar. Know. <laughs> I know! I didn't expect any of this, so it's crazy. I mean, when you say you're just a girl singing with your guitar in your room, tell everyone who doesn't know your story, how, how, the, how did you get to where you are today? How did it all start? Um, well, I've been singing my whole life. I grew up in a super musical household. My mom's a musician, and I just started posting YouTube covers. Mm -hmm. um, I just me in my room with my guitar, and I was in high school just, you know, for fun, and it kind of became a career and now I'm working on my first record and it's really fun and yeah. I know because you've been in the, you've been in this, you've been recording a lot of songs lately in, yeah. in the studio. Can, your album's coming out soon after the holidays, you kind of have a date. I know she's not going to tell us anything. We talked about this before, but something's going to happen. Uh, new music is coming very it's soon. It's coming soon. Do you, do you have a title? I mean, you don't have to say the title, but do okay. you, you have your title of the album, you have it already? Uh, yes, I have an idea of what it's going to be. Ha she has yeah. an idea what the I album's going to be called. I have an idea. I haven't officially decided, but I have the general gist. Okay, it, so. okay, so that's that's good enough. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm curious to know what musicians inspired you, like growing up. Who who were they? I love Amy Winehouse. Mm. She's like my mm. idol. Mm. <laughs> She's my girl. Um, I love John Mayer. He's like mm. my man crush. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, um, is there someone that you can look at and you say, that's the kind of career I want? Is there someone you say that that's, that's what I want my career to be like? Katy Perry. Mm, I could totally I see that. I just think that she's so inspiring and you know, yeah. like her image is just perfect. Like yes, everything is. about her is so genuine. Oh. And I loved her movie. It was so cool. <laughs> so, it was really good. Yes, it was. It was good. Um, you know, on August 22nd, you tweeted, I can't believe people cover my songs now. Craziest feelings ever. Describe that feeling. Oh, it was so weird because I started out covering people's songs. Lady on Gaga, Britney Spears. I, know. I mean, <laughs> I, I, a lot of them. And now they're covering your song. I saw so many of them covering Tiptoes, yeah. her hit single, which if you don't have it, get it on iTunes right now. Pause this and get it. <laughs> but, um, like, how like does that make you feel inside? I, like, almost started crying. <laughs> I mean, take a second and, it's like, so just exciting. I'm trying to, like, feel that. Like, you're at home, people are tweeting you, hey, Jamie D, this is what, look at the song I've covered, Tiptoes. Yeah. And you're home, you're watching it, huge. It's just so inspiring, like knowing that other people can enjoy my music and learn how to play guitar and sing. Like I get certain tweets that are like, I started playing guitar because of you, because I love your music so much. And that's just like, I love music so much and yeah. I just love to bring it to other people. So yes, you do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like that's so cheesy. No, sorry. it's not cheesy. You know, please, it's not cheesy. You know, um, how does it feel like when you're performing in front of these big crowds, like when you did for Owl City and Lifehouse, you just did a performance opening act for them, what was it last week or two weeks ago? Yeah. How does that feel when you're on stage and you have all these people cheering for you, they get to see your, hear your voice, your lovely voice, how does that feel? It's definitely a rush. It's exciting like to get to show mm -hmm. new people um, that haven't necessarily heard my music. And it seemed like they responded to it well. So I'm just excited to get my music out there. I mean, they, even also, they tweeted about you, Lifehouse. They were like, Jamie Deach open up for us. She rocks. Her music rocks. I mean, it's just so, I'm like, I know her now. She's on our <laughs> show. That's so freaking cool. Um, and then I know on November 
14th. You're going to be performing at the Roxy here in LA yes. on the Sunset Strip. Yes, I am. And I think you performed there uh, a few months ago. Or is this yeah, your second performance? In, in May. I love the Roxy. I mean, it's like the Roxy. My favorite venue. My favorite venue. Hello, that's like, it's huge. Like the right. I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. That's just crazy. Yeah, I actually went to my first concert at the Roxy. I went to go see Corinne Bailey Ray. Really? And so it's like an honor to perform there because it's my favorite venue. What a full circle moment. Like, yeah. oh, that just, oh. <laughs> Oh my god. What okay, just for those who are watching your fans and people who are getting to know you, what's your advice for them? All the ones who are putting things out there on, on YouTube, what can you say to them? Just one thing that they can remember to say, oh Jamie D said that on a spoonful of Paolo. Um, I think that you just need to always do what you love and mm. you know, everybody certain people have like nine to five jobs and I feel like they're stuck in them and their yeah. true passion they don't ever get to explore and I just feel lucky that I get to explore what I really love, and I feel like everybody should get to do that. So. Ugh, that's why I'm excited that you're here because, like I've said this many times, our show's about dreaming big. So to have a guest, a special guest here, who's dreaming big like you, and you are just keep, you keep going further and further and further, it is such an honor. It <laughs> really is. But now, for the first time on A Spoonful of Palo, Jamie D is going to be performing her hit single, Tiptoes, an acoustic version, and I can't wait! Yay. Thank you very much. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I'm giving her the stage, an acoustic version of Tiptoes. I'm so happy. Um, 
beautiful. If you, if you haven't already, please go to iTunes, download her song. It's amazing. You are amazing. Your voice is just, it's a, it's a gift from God. Like, it really is. And you are just gifted. So thank you. Thank you for being on our show. Thank you for having me. Um, your Twitter name, is it Jamie? What was it? It's Jamie. Jamie D123. Make sure you follow her and because she has a special announcement to make on Christmas that she won't say it now, but just follow her. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you so much. And continued success to you because it has been an honor to have you on our show. Thank you so much. Oh, I love her. Bye, everyone. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Spoonful of Paolo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. It was so good. You get the best hugs. No, thank you. Really